I don't know, I've always been kind of creating, but I have to say my grandmother, like she was the first one who inspired me to do watercolors. One day she just sat me down in the basement and she was like, try this out. And then I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, it just kind of been doing it. And now, yeah, I guess watercolors, yeah, and ink, lots of washes. You can make mistakes because watercolors have a mind of their own and you have to be willing to accept that. And I think that kind of has to go with my personality. So it just kind of go with the flow. And I like that. I like that. As like an artist, everything that you do, it's an influence of something around you. So I like to take things from my life and use them as blessings and include it to my work. So like, basically, if I was just having a really good day, then my work is going to be a lot more positive, but if I'm not having the best day, then sometimes it might be a little darker, or it just is a good way to release that energy. Um, well, I really love I really love photography, so a lot of times I would take a lot of macro shots, and I like getting down into the detail. So when you see that tiny little world where those little creatures live, if you kind of see it in their perspective, I mean, the world, you can find small worlds in such a big world. So that's, I don't know, I just, I just love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've moved a lot, so living in Philly has changed my work in the sense of, especially with books within, within new arts, it's helped me grow as an artist with defining who I am and what I like and what I don't like. But I definitely have to say the city has brought out parts of me which parts of me that I miss. So I think I put that in my work where a lot a lot of things are more organic. And living in an environment where even though Philly is a pretty green city, um, it just I just miss that openness. So I feel like I um, well, these are just kind of a few little little card things that I make. I sell them like at first Friday. And I'll sell them at Walfus as well. And uh, I basically will do these little squares and just do a bunch of little images. But I, uh, I start off with coffee and I do a light wash over the top of it. Well, I first start off and I draw my images with graphite. And then I do a light wash with coffee. And slowly I do build um, either with inks or watercolors. I've been experimenting with this a lot lately. But I usually use watercolors and they build upon my much layer. And uh, this is, I think this is a pretty good example right here of what I'm really enjoying. Because I can kind of flow one part into the next and can have that uniform feel yet they're each different styles. So I'm going to cut these up and put them on. So these are just a few little things I'm working on right now.